Yo, what's going on today, guys? I'm going to be talking to you about the Avid Key Studio, M Audio Key Studio, as well, you could call it. And yeah, it's basically a 49 key MIDI keyboard, great little budget MIDI keyboard. If you need something, you know, that you can take around and put in your home studio and you don't have a ton of money to spend on a MIDI keyboard. Now, while I said it's MIDI, and while it is MIDI, it's actually USB powered. So you can see right here, it's USB rather than actually, you know, having a MIDI port in the back. Although it works with any MIDI or VST software. Yeah, it, the keys, they have kind of like plasticky feel to them. You know, they're not weighted. I don't even know if you could consider these semi-weighted. They're pretty plasticky. Not really any action to the touch. That being said, they are velocity sensitive, which is like a strange thing to me, but I imagine there's just sensors in here that make them velocity sensitive. Other than that, you know, if you're looking to use this as a substitute for an actual keyboard or a piano or something, or even trying to learn piano, I wouldn't recommend this thing. I would recommend it more for people who are just, you know, trying to quickly bang out synth parts, you know, or just using it to figure out notes while you're recording or, you know, what have you. Yeah, it's definitely not the most playable thing in the world in terms of it feeling realistic. On the bright side though, there are a lot of great things about the design of it. As for the build, super lightweight, this thing, I mean, I could pick it up with one hand, carry it around. Uh, we have a couple of these in our studio. And, you know, as you can see, I just easily prop this right up here on this little arm that we have built into the desk. And, you know, it's just, it's, it's got like a nice portable design, especially for it being a 49 keyboard. The mod wheel and pitch bend are over here. The mod wheel feels nice, really heavy. It's got kind of a heavy feel to it. Which is cool because you know you don't feel yourself losing control as you do with some mod wheels on some cheaper MIDI keyboards. It feels like they move a little too much. This one is heavy and it really stays in place, you know, wherever you put it, which is cool. Pitch bend, on the other hand, is a little bit more drastic. It doesn't have that heavy feel. You know, yeah, it's uh, something you gotta get used to. Then right next to that, you have the volume slider. Got a nice little rubber feel, a uh, rubber grip right here. Feels pretty nice. And then you have your octave buttons right here. So you can easily switch the octave. You can see when it's at middle C right there, and the two buttons are engaged. The two lights are engaged. And then you also have edit mode. We've had this forever. I've still never used edit mode. Not really sure what it's for. I, this also comes with Pro Tools uh, SE, I believe, beginner software, and some other software. So I, I imagine that's what edit mode would be for. But I've never used it. Strictly used it for, you know, Pro Tools 12 or Ableton or other VSTs that I've had. So never the software that actually came with it. As I felt, is kind of a more of a beginner thing. But that's what I imagine the edit mode would be for. Overall, really solid keyboard for the money. Finding MIDI keyboards these days with you know this many keys on them, you're most likely going to be spending a ton of money. So you know being able to get a cheap 49 key budget MIDI keyboard is, is really, really helpful, especially one that, you know, is so easy to carry around and so portable and is also bus power too. So, you know, for being like this big, I was surprised to find out that, you know, this thing, I just plug it right into our, you know, computer and we're good to go. Um, don't have to worry about any extra cords or anything. It comes with its own USB, which is nice, you know, in terms of turning it on and off. Right on the back there, boom, turns on and off really quickly, no loading time, nothing. It's really, really simple. 
So, you know, if you're looking for a great budget MIDI keyboard, I would highly recommend it. It's the Key Studio from Avid and M Audio. And yeah. All right, guys. Enjoy yourself. <laughs>